So I, I wanted to shoot a video to illustrate several points that have come up recently, and I'm going to do them all in one video. One is I've been working on some of these Matsu's green base skis, and along with the other clear base skis on the market, they've really started to come into their own as we've experienced warming and wetening conditions here in the east today. The temperatures were in the 50s. It's going to lock down again for the weekend, but it's inevitable. Spring's coming. We're going to get into some wet weather. Already there were races floral free in wet weather at Dartmouth Carnival last weekend and clear base solutions were really jumping to the front already. It's been an open question all along is our clear base is going to become more important without florals or are they just not going to work as well without florals and the answer really seems to be that they're more important that uh, the clear base solutions uh, just last longer. They work better for longer than black bases. That's a big generalization. Obviously, ski, camber, specific base material, and everything else makes a difference. Uh, a lot of people like to draw distinctions between like clear bases and green bases and gray bases. All of these skis have clear base material with a backer. So Fisher's yellow base is a clear material with a backer. Matsus has a clear base with a green backer. Solomon has changed their backer a couple of different times and it looks different, but um, since 2015, it's been the same base material. Uh, all companies have different base materials, but um, yeah, they're all starting to work pretty well um, and they become really important. But that's not what I really started off to show. What I wanted to show was uh, on this clear base, well, it looks green here, but uh, it's, it's light in color. We can apply a wax with metal additive in it, and it gives us a great illustration of what fleecing is doing. And um, so we, we, we put this, this, uh, this is prototype version of the Star Beta Warm Wax that uh, we have been doing this year, started it last year. It's got metal in it, and so it's gonna make this base a little darker in color. But what's really cool is what happens when we run the fleece on it. This fleece, this fleece started white and it's turned dark in color because of uh, all of the beta wax that we've tested with it. Um, this is why you need to dedicate a fleece to these things. It's a long haired fleece, 22 mil, good for finishing liquids. And uh, it's so cool what this does. I'm going to have to shoot it from a couple points of view, but here we'll just let it rip on the first one. betting you can't really see it that well from that angle, but I'll do the second ski from a different angle so you can. Uh, what's happening is that the black additive in the wax doesn't really show up all that well on the initial deposition onto the ski, but when we start working it, it clearly spreads out and forms a film, and I think this is a good illustration of what's happening with any wax that we put on. The, um, the fleece is doing a lot of physical work to the wax and really spreading that film uh, pretty aggressively. It's easy just to think of it like a soft brush or something that's just removing the material, but it's really working the material, and this is a, a great illustration of that. Here's the base. We're putting the liquid on. Okay, liquid goes on. Base doesn't look all that different. We're just going to let that dry off. Here it goes. Look at that. You see that? Unbuffed. Buff. That's what that's doing. It's really, really working that wax. 
and making a super glossy finish. That's so cool. It's got to be doing that to regular wax as well. It's just kind of invisible. It's kind of shining it up and really it's doing quite a lot of work. We knew that, but now we can see it. 